The first model of one of Ukraine's most famous exports stands in the courtyard of this factory in Kiev. Since Antonov's first AN-2 aircraft took off on its maiden voyage in 1947, engineers here have continued to design and assemble some of the most recognizable cargo planes around the world. This fuselage is just a single component of the thousands of aircraft that have left the production line since the company was founded just after World War II. Antonov has broken a staggering 285 world records in total and now cooperates with 78 countries around the world. The company's deputy director argues design is the most important feature. <laughs> The AM planes are revered around the world. They fly around the world. The aircraft have earned a reputation for their reliability and dependability, for their ability to take off and land anywhere. They can fly on unpaved, concrete or snow-covered runways. By far the company's most famous plane, the Antonov 225, at 84 meters in length and weighing a massive 640 tons, it creates a sense of awe for anyone standing in or underneath it. Since its maiden flight as part of the Soviet space shuttle program in 1988, the aircraft has been used to deliver NATO supplies and transport huge cargoes around the globe. This plane is the pride for Ukraine. A few years ago, it could be seen in a museum. But thanks to the efforts and patience of Ukrainians, this plane continues to carry some of the heaviest loads in the world. This plane, named Maria or Dream in English, has broken many aviation records itself. One of the most ambitious operations was the delivery of a 175-ton transformer from Austria to Houston in the U.S., the cargo plane also flew construction equipment from the Czech Republic to Uzbekistan, weighing a staggering 250 tonnes. That's about the weight of 115 cars all stacked up on one another. Inside, the design may look slightly old, but the plane certainly attracts a crowd wherever it goes. Large crowds gather to see us arrive and depart. The plane attracts a lot of spectators. There is a huge sense of pride in what we are and that we're able to do everything with this huge structure and the plane even still flies. The iconic Antonov brand dominates the oversize and heavyweight cargo market. In recent months, the company has sought to expand and diversify its global market to reach, a change in strategy from its close partnership with Russia. The entire market for heavy cargo is divided between two companies, Antonov and Volga Dnipro in Russia. The world market is ours. There is simply no competition. There is not another plane in the world which can carry what we carry. We have the advantage that if Volga Dnipro cannot carry something, our Maria aircraft can. This year, China agreed to restart mass production of Antonov's flagship plane, the AN-225. The deal allows China's aerospace industry corporation to design and construct under license from Antonov. The equipment on board the new Maria 2 aircraft will differentiate from the original Maria. However, the fuselage, wing and all major aspects of the design are identical to the original design, but all the installed systems on the aircraft have to be modern. But reviving the world's biggest aircraft is not the only project. Antonov is now focusing on two different models of smaller planes. They differ in size, capability and purpose. The AN-148 and the AN-158 aircraft meets all the modern requirements. They can operate in any environment, operate in any climate and can land on an airfield located up to an altitude of four kilometers. The AN-158 passenger aircraft and the similar AN-148-200 model are both only assembled in Ukraine. But Antonov says its reach is global. The company says it serves clients from countries including Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Azerbaijan, Malaysia and Cuba. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense also ordered three new generation AN-148 planes. Approximately 1.15 billion Ukrainian grievners, about $44 million at recent exchange rates, was allocated for the purchase. Over the recent years, we have continued to modernize the AN-148 model, especially in terms of the electronic systems and other aviation equipment used. For a long time now, cockpits in the planes haven't resembled the appearance of ones designed 35 years ago. It's today's demands. Modernization is happening and resources are increasing. 
Last February, Saudi Arabia inked a deal to produce Antonov's lighter, multi-purpose model, the AN-132. The twin-engine plane is intended to carry up to almost 10 tonnes and can be used for air-dropping medical supplies, military equipment and servicemen, as well as other uses. Most of the plane's components are Ukrainian, with other supplies from the USA, France and Canada. Based on the design of the AN-132 and on the designs of aircraft before, we can develop rescue planes and firefighting planes as well as regular cargo planes. We very much hope these aircraft will be used for our Ukrainian customers. But Antonov needs an extra $700 million investment to upgrade its Soviet-era facilities and replace all Russian parts now embargoed after Moscow's invasion of eastern Ukraine. With this money, the company says it can produce dozens of more aircraft before 2020. It's a prospect that would see Ukraine's aircraft taking off from more destinations around the world.